Good morning, everybody. This is Mario. The time is 621 in the morning and it's April the 3rd. And today I'm going to meet some friends and we're going, we're going to meet them at the Saddle Island parking lot. And I'm going to try to do a review on uh, my friend's new bike. He bought a new e-bike. I think it's Archer or something like that. We're going to try, we're going to do River Mountain trail loop <laughs> so, enjoy this video and today I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be taking this one the Tuvia SK20 I'm very happy with it so far and and oh well, and this one here is my Eora I was going to take it, but I'm going to go use that one over there because that one's a 750 watt and this one is a 350 watt. This one here is more comfy. So I'm going to go take this one. So let's go. Okay, we made it and they're here. My bike is back. All right, there's the new bike. Right there. How you like that bike? Uh, first time I'm riding. First time? It. Yep, this is his first time. How do you pronounce the name? Ancher? Yeah. Ancher. 350 watt, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, 350 watt. Then he's going to be riding his regular bike. Yep. Right there. So we're at Saddle Island parking lot and we're going to do river, mountain, trail. Okay, let's go. So how many miles have we been? Let's see. Let's see my bike. Okay guys, uh, 3.8 miles so far. Okay, 3.8 miles. Like me. To getting a good workout yeah. <laughs> there you go that proves you that e-bikes you still get exercise so the people that there that says you get it you, you don't get any exercise on an e-bike you do okay, let's catch up Man. 
us all the way in the front so we can catch up. Good. Okay. In this group, there's two e-bike and one road bike. Woo. I can't change gears because I have the camera in my right hand so beautiful okay guys we've been going 5.5 miles nice trail uh, the group in the back yep it's coming How's the trail so far? That is nice. <laughs> nice, huh? <Woo. laughs> I love it. So, so far, 6.2 miles. Yeah. So, this is your first time, right? Yeah. First time here. Yep, first time here. And this is my third time. So, everything's good. Seven miles. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this camera down so I can catch up with the group. Well, there's one of them. So, so far, 8.5 miles, we just passed the water district. I don't know, I'm not really sure what the name of that building is. Water, I, know, I think they deal with water. The supplies of the lake mead, I guess. Not really sure. But anyway, we're here. Now it's 8.6. Um, I fell behind because I was uh, busy with the phone. And I can only, you know, it's hard to control the phone with one hand. That's why I fell behind. So, I'm starting to catch up now. There's the now.
made it. That was scary. I did that. Went through with one hand. I wasn't sure if I was going to hit the, one of the pole. So far, finally caught up. There's more riders coming. It's another cyclist. Good morning. Close to the campsite, and where you can set up your RV and, or your camp or your tent. And over there is the old uh, is the old uh, train track. Over there, historical uh, tunnel. I think that's what, that's what what it's called. So it's a little bit windy, but not too bad. Notice this uh, trail here. Here is not just for cyclists; it's for hikers and joggers, just like this lady here. Good morning. Oh, so far, there's some... Is this thing close? Huh? Is this thing close? No. No. Please. This trail is not close for runners, isn't it? It's not close with the uh, bicycle, isn't it? Okay, is it close with the runners? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay then. Oh, okay. It's open. Yeah, it's open. I thought it was closed. <laughs> but I didn't see no sign that said it's closed for runners. So I guess it's open. I'll just tell them I'm for the TV. <laughs> All right. Since like today, there's, there's runners today. So, special event. All coming up. All this is fun. All the runners. Imagine if I can, if you can run this fast right here, the bicycle. You'd be, break, you'd be breaking records. Okay, I got 
gotta catch up again. about runners anymore. Okay. Let's see if I can catch up. Yep. Just RV parking. Seven point seven miles so far. Okay, twelve miles. Lake Mead, historical train, uh, trail track, whatever it's called, I forgot the name. And we should be very close to where you pay to get in to get to get in inside Lake Mead. So. Pretty hard to handle this bike with one hand. Try my best. Uh, the group on the back, somewhere. They're coming. So if you've never been to Lake Mead and you have your bicycle, try to take River Mountain Trail Loop. You'll like this trail. It's a beautiful trail, 34 miles. Yeah. So, by the group. There. Okay. more thank you the walkers hey there's one of them so you're still getting your exercise huh yeah. <laughs> see that's why I tell people, e-bike is not really cheating. It just depends on what level you put it in. Because yeah. <laughs> you still get your good exercise. It feels nice using electric. Huh? It feels nice. It's nice, huh? Yeah. It's like someone's helping you a little bit. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they said there's a, a outselling regular bikes now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you heard about that too? Yeah, they're, uh, they're like uh, two diamonds. Yeah. Getting rented out. Oh yeah? <laughs> and the regular bikes are not? Oh they are too. They are too, but not as much as the e-bikes, e e huh? 
Yeah. Because you don't sweat as bad, you know, but you still get your good exercise. So, what I'm riding is an e bike. That's a regular bike. It's electric. So, all of us are basically having a good workout. There's, uh, there's three more. A cyclist. There's that uh, historical train track right there. See that where the cars are parked? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this camera down for a while. I'll be back. Okay, thirteen point eight miles so far. Thirteen point eight. We're doing good. Okay. There's another tunnel. Oh, it's a nice breeze now. like it's colder. Fourteen point five. The weather is nice, and I can't really. Let me. Whoop, I can't look at my watch. All right. Anyway, the weather's nice. Everyone is having fun at the River Mountain Trail. Like I said, if you've never been here. You guys gotta check it out. Take your fam family or your friends. Yeah, definitely this is nice to be in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't buy this in June. Hey guys, this one here is uphill. the other group uh, the groups are in the back oh, it's coming This 
just making sure his bike is it's not broken. <laughs> Make sure he didn't get in a flat or something. <laughs> but nothing, he's just walking it. Yeah, he said uphill. He said his bike is pretty heavy going uphill. Yeah. Okay, there's that bike arch here. But that's, that's the bike right there. Seems to be doing really good. It's performing well. It's not a climb, it's not a climber, but it still helps you climb. So, 350, he has the 350 watt. And I think his battery is 36 volt, I'm not sure. But we've been going 7.2 miles and he hasn't lost any bar yet. So, hey. Doing good? Yes. <laughs> Barely sweating? Uh, starting. Starting. <laughs> but I bet it's not as bad as when you have the regular one though, huh? Yeah. yeah. At least you have a little bit of help assist. <laughs> Look like that bike is performing well. What? That bike is performing well. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least this is a good test for it. <laughs> How many watts are we now? Seventeen point five. Yeah. And that bike is doing good. Seventeen point five. Okay, 17.5 miles. And that art chair bicycle is doing very well. So that bike is new, so this is a good time to break that bike in. So there's other cycles. And I don't know if you can see, I'm only using the pedal assist level two. So basically I'm doing a lot of I'm doing a lot of workout doing 12 miles an hour because my motor doesn't really kick in it starts to shut off around that time so basically I am doing my, a lot of work right now the engine is not I mean the motor is not even kicking in because I'm only in the pedal assist too but if I slow down it kind of helps me like right there it kicked it gave me a little boost Yeah. Another group. Okay, we go this way. Okay, we're gonna go underneath this tunnel.
there's the St. Jude's Ranch for Children. At first, I thought that was the church, but it looks like a church. I have to let go of the camera for a while because it's uphill. Okay, almost 20 miles, 19.6 miles. So, here's the loop. Try right here. Hi. Hey. This is uh, one of the serious uphill here. Better get ready. It's the incline hills. This is uphill right here. Oh yeah. You can feel it, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. There's that bicycle. Big giant bicycle statue. Made it on the spot. So, 20 miles. 20 miles. Yeah. So, uh, the tall is like 30, right? 34. 34. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice long ride, huh? Yeah. yeah. So, how did it do on uh, uphill? Oh, uh, pretty good. Yeah. Right now, I'm at the uh, 3-4th boundary. 3-4th? Okay. It goes up and down, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mine does the same thing, it goes up and down. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Yep, this is the one. And then over there, there's the BMX uh, track. Yeah, I'll take the picture. Yeah. <laughs> take the picture so if you're taking this trail, you're gonna end up seeing this bicycle. Very popular place to hang out, take pictures. See, oh, even over there you can park. See, there's a parking space. Yeah. yeah. If you want to start here. Yeah, you see all that uh, sign that says mountain bike trails? Yeah. yeah. This place has everything.
I've been doing, we've been doing 24.6 miles so far, right beside this casino. Right now they're ahead of me because I had to stop and grab the phone, but we'll catch up. So if you want to take a rest, you can rest there, or you, or you can even start over there too. So, so here, you gotta watch out for the train. Let me change some gears. Yeah. See that bridge? The bridge that is coming up. That's a Union Pacific Trail. Cyclists. We're coming up. Let's see where those people are going. Look on the left. This is the, uh, the Union Pacific Trail right here. If you made a left. Uh, no, we go straight. Because the car is that way. Morning. Morning. It's a nice hill climb, right? So, so far, 27.8 miles, almost, almost 30 miles. There's another parking spot. And here is the bridge. So if you're going clockwise, you make sure you take the bridge, not the left. There's parking. So let's wait for the rest. Okay. We're gonna rest here. This one has a table. And water fountain. Nice mountain. Electrical. 
I don't know if you can hear the electricity flowing. There's a nice rest stop. It has a table. You can even lock your bike. Uphill. There's a steep hill coming up. Steep hill right here. It's a nice hill, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. For, we've been traveling about 31 miles and we're almost back on our vehicles. Right here is Lake Mead, Lake Mead Boulevard, Lake Las Vegas is right there on the left. Almost back in the vehicle. So now it's all the way in front. Or uh, somewhere in the back. Okay guys, we made it back. So this bike here, pass the River Mountain Trail Loop. 35 miles, right? I have to add 29 and seven. Let me see. Let me see. Eight. 29 plus eight miles. Yeah, so that's uh, 37, yeah. It's about the same like last time. <clears throat> so 
So 37 miles. Yeah. Made it no problem. No problem, yeah. Yeah, so. All right, we're back. We all made it safe. Okay, guys. It's a good ride. Yeah. Like <laughs> okay, it's uh, 11.09. I just finished loading my, uh, my bike back and it's 11.09 a.m. And that e-bike, the Archer, Archer, whatever it's called. How, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, but it's, the Archer bike did pretty good for a 36 volt. So it was able to do the 34 miles. Basically, it's about 37 miles where we, start, where we started. So if you have that kind of bike, if you're traveling 30 miles, or even less, you know that bike can make it. Because River Mountain Trail Loop is not an easy trail, okay? It's not complicated either, but it's a good place to, it's a good place to test your e-bike or your skill. Because this road, I mean, this trail has a lot of uphills and downhill. So, okay, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any comments, Please put it down below and uh, see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.